So Moshe Rabbeinu was praying and asking God to let him into the land of Israel, but God said no. Agut Nerev Shabbos, my dear friends. This Shabbos is a very special Shabbos. It is the Shabbos Nachamu, we read, Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says Hashem. After Tisha B'Av, we begin a series of seven weeks of comforting. It is also the Shabbos of the 15th day of the month of Av. It is considered a very big holiday. The Mishnah compares it to Yom Kippur, a time when the moon is full and the Jewish people are blessed. And in the Shabbos, we read about Va'et Hanan in the portion. We read about the Ten Commandments. Moshe Rabbeinu is repeating the Ten Commandments for the second time. We read about the portion of Shema Israel, a very special Shabbos this. And the question is, you know, we're talking about so many good things. Usually the Haftarah, the prophets, is connected with what we read in the Parsha. We read all about the comforting of the Jewish people, about the redemption that we're going to have. And yet, in the beginning of the Parsha, we read about Moshe Rabbeinu asking that he wants to go into Eretz Israel. He was praying to Hashem 515 times and God says no. So there must be a connection. Here it seems to be the opposite. And the Rebbe explains that the fact that the comforting that we read about is a double comfort. Comfort or comfort my people. When we say something twice, something double, it's not only two times. When you say something twice, it suggests something which is endless, limitless. When we say, give him, oh, give him, it means not just give him twice, but give him endlessly. In the same thing, when God comforts us, and it says, Nachamu, Nachamu, twice, it suggests that this is going to be a comforting, which is a limitless comforting. The coming of Mashiach will be a redemption, which will have no limits. No exile will ever be after this. And this explains why Hashem did not want Moshe Rabbeinu to enter to the land of Israel. You see, because the double comforting came as comforting for both temples that were destroyed. The first temple had something, a very special power to it that had a big godly revelation. The second temple was not so powerful as far as a godly revelation, but it had a bigger effect on the physical part. It lasted longer, the building was bigger. When Mashiach will come, there will be an eternal redemption that will have both advantages. That's why Hashem says, if Moshe Rabbeinu goes into the land of Israel, it's going to be, yes, an everlasting redemption, but it's not going to be something absorbed by the people themselves. But now we are all ready for the double comfort. We are all ready for the blessing that Hashem will bless us. So this Shabbos, Make sure to come to Shul to hear the Ten Commandments for the second time, which makes it endlessly. It makes, it makes us connecting to the Ten Commandments. It makes us connecting to Hashem as we read Shema Yisrael. And I want to wish you all you should have a wonderful, wonderful Ge'ula de Shabbos, a Shabbos of redemption, a Shabbos of joy, and a Freilich Shabbos, a good Shabbos.